Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play My Sims Agent. In the last episode, we finished up the last set of cases in the Industrial District, and in this episode, we're gonna go have a word with the good doctor and see what he has to say. But first, let's check the cell phone. Okay, good, good job, Travis. Okay, so anyway, I apologize for what happened with the commentary last time. I swear I will try and make it not happen again. Totally unprofessional. But anyway, I guess I don't have much to talk about right now, so I guess I'll just head up to the lab, which is right up here. <laughs> Dr. F, we're back! Oh, yes, yes, just put the squirrels over there if you must. Still not delivering squirrels. We have information about Morky Corp. <coughs> what did you find? Some Morky Corp's employees are mining a mineral called Destinite. Ooh, Destinite isn't common, but it doesn't have any real value. What else? We're also trying to steal DJ Candy Sonic amplifiers. Alexa, don't you see? It's just Destinite with, if it's just Destinite with ultra high power sonic frequencies, you can try mutant it into Fortunite! What's Fortunite? It's an incredibly rare and powerful substance. In fact, only one specimen is e was ever discovered! The crystal from the Nightmare Crown! Exactly! This Morcubus is a very clever science indeed! Can he really make his own Fortunite? Yes, but it would be slightly imperfect. The only way he could possibly counter its power would be find the original crystal! How do we find the original Fortunite, pal? I'm not sure, buddy. Let's head back to the HQ. Maybe there's a clue somewhere in Evelyn's journal. Good luck, Arrow. We'll bill you for the constellation later. Okay, disco ball trophies, new disguises, and some new dispatch missions. Okay, so anyway, I saw something really cool in Splatoon that started that started before. Well, an announcement anyway. A, looks like some kind of Splatfest. Looks like there are two teams, and I don't really know how it's going to go down, but there's the Team Cat and Team Dog. I chose Team Cat because I love my cat. Okay, let's get on the train. Back to headquarters. So anyway, about my next LP, I don't want to disclose anything, but I'll tell you this, it's going to be a fun one because it's going to be a blind LP. That's all I'm going to say. And that's what happened in the Industrial District. Wow, do you really think you guys can find the original crystal? I don't know how we'll do it, but Arrow will find a way. Arrow, I might have something. There's one reference to Fortunite in my father's journal. That's great, Evelyn. What does it say? Not much, but that associates the crystal with a man named Cyrus Bordera. I don't know how to pronounce that. Boudra, maybe. Maybe the siren's work of my dad on the Nightmare Crown. That sounds like a good place to start. Jenny! How are you looking him up on the internet? Way to go, Jenny. Found him. He's dead. <laughs> what? Yeah, it just happened. Now his niece Zoe is holding a dinner party at the Bordera mansion. Is it really appropriate time for a dinner party? He wants to gather Cyrus' friends and family so he can read his will. Apparently someone is going to inherit his entire estate, including a very rare gem. Good work, Jenny. When is the will reading? Where do we go? No idea. It's by invitation only, so it doesn't list the time or location. Oh, so close. And now another dead end. You gotta figure out a way into that dinner party. Hey, Eric, doesn't Poppy have a sister named Violet? I think she does. Why? Well, according to this article, one of the people on the guest list is Miss Violet Nightshade. Th that is Poppy's sister. She's, if she's going, maybe Poppy received an invitation as well. Let's go ask her. Also, interesting note. Poppy and Violet are both names of flowers, and incidentally, Nightshade is too. Noticing a pattern yet? I bet if they had a mother, her name would be Lily. <laughs> oh, I'm nuts. But anyway, yeah, my next LP is actually going to be a blind LP. In fact, once I finish recording all of the footage for the LP of this game, I'm going to run out to my local GameStop and get the game I'm going to LP, and Poppy has a case for us. Hey, Poppy, how's it going? I, need, I might need your help. My help? Yay, of course, Arrow. Okay, I'm not even going to do the little girl voice. <coughs> so have you received an invitation in the mail recently for a will reading? You don't know. 
<laughs> and with the invitation, that's three stolen letters. That's a federal offense! Yes, it is super naughty. Don't worry, Poppy. I'll take care of this. I didn't have a chat with Derek. Where could he have gone to? Hi, Dogwood. Okay, let's focus. Uh-huh. Also, E3 starts... E3 st has already started, I believe. Oh, wait, hang on. I gotta do something real quick. It's, he's over here. <laughs> Looking for me, Agent? You're not allowed up here in Fort Derek. Scram! Well, he didn't count on one thing. I have enough space manipulator, so I can manipulate. So anyway, with E3 starting, I actually don't know what to expect with Zelda Wii U being delayed. The best thing I can hope for is an announcement of a new Metroid game. What do you know about Poppy's letters? Hey, how did you get up here? Cough it up. Why have you been stealing Poppy's mail? Screening duty. Work if it says that if I find any useful information, I'm supposed to pass it on to them. Afterwards, I toss them in the woods. The animals can use them if they want them. Ha! Hang on, let's examine a bit. There's a bunch of bottle caps in here. What is Derek saving these for? Hey, who knows? Maybe he collects them. I'm not one to judge. A broken ladder. A metaphor for the struggle of the working class. Or simply a piece of trash. I think it's the latter. Ooh, some 8 bit games. I guess these are real, there are some real treasures here after all. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay, back to business. How Derek got up here in the first place is honestly beyond me. And I think he's still mad about me banning him from Ginos. I would still be mad if I was him because. If, what is this? One of Poppy's letters. Okay. Okay, so I would still be mad because based on what I've seen, Gino's pizzas are delicious. Okay. Uh oh, no more letters. Has, mama, has the mama bird taken them away? Let's have an anal analysis on the eggs just to see what bird they belong to. And oh boy, here comes another forensics puzzle. I don't hate these, I'm, they just can trip me up. Though I think this one's one of the easier ones. And as soon as I say that, it's gonna be very tricky. That's not gonna work. Ah, I did not wanna hit that. So, yeah. Again, I don't know what to expect from E3 this year, but... I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I mean, I always look forward to E3, don't get me wrong. I mean, I think every gamer looks forward to E3. But, without Zelda Wii U... The only thing I can really hope for is the announcement of a new Metroid game. But who knows? Nintendo has been known to surprise us. So maybe the surprise will come in the form of that. And also, the Autark is back, and I couldn't be happier. I thought the Autark was dead for a while. I mean, he hadn't released a countdown in who knows how long, and he's back working with Rabbit Luigi. And it's great. Part 1 was uploaded, and it turned out fantastic. It really makes me wait, can't wait till tomorrow for Part 2, and wow, I'm having a hard time with this. So, yeah. But also, if you've been keeping up with Autark on Twitter like I have, you'd know he's gonna be retiring from Countdowning. It's kind of tragic. I mean, he's been one of the best and most, he's been one of the best and most well-known Countdown makers ever. So, to see him go, it's really sad, honestly. I'll tell you what else is sad, my performance on this. I mean, seriously, wow. I cannot figure this out. But if there's one thing I don't know how to do, it's give up. I'm just gonna shut up and gonna cut ahead, I guess. Thank God! That took way too long. I can tell I'm gonna have to cut like three or four minutes worth of footage, but it's done. Thank God. 
Okay, Can using materials I can find for a go. nest. Interesting. Just gotta look around oh, for a bird nest, I guess. But still, the forensics puzzles, mm -hmm. they can be a serious pain. In fact, there's one uh, in one of the later areas of the game that, oh dear god, I had, I have had nightmares about doing that one on repeated playthroughs of this. No matter how many times I do it, I can never remember that. I don't like that one. Well, you're, I'm going to be cutting most of it, so you don't have to worry about it. <sighs> this game is still really fun. It's just, the puzzles are a bit cryptic sometimes, hold that thought. Now I take the detour. The shortcut can't be trusted. That's how it usually goes. I'm thinking about... Should I have gone back for a debriefing? Yes. And yes, I should have done that when I was back there. Oh well. I actually know where the nests are, so I don't really need to ask around. So that kind of saves me time. Yeah, if you recall back in an episode, I think episode three, maybe. <laughs> Actually, no, bad. My bad. Episode two, when we went onto the roof, we saw Patrick's toolbox. Uh -huh. Toolbox. You might have remembered we also saw a bird's nest. It's right here. So it's another one of Poppy's letters. Now that's that's the easy one. The harder one is coming up, and preemptively, I already know I'm gonna need some spare parts, so. Go look for those. Oh, look at that, I didn't follow my butt this time. So let's get the techno tool out, salvage from this car. Also, wait, I'm gonna show a little hidden secret. If you use the S-based manipulator on this fruit stand, you get prizes. A butterfly sculpture and a flower box. Two and two of them. That's something I don't think a lot of people know. And it's actually a pretty well hidden secret. Okay. I'm gonna sell parts from all the cars I see, so. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is awesome. Watch this. Remember when I bashed it with the crowbar? Let's try F spacing and see if any spare change falls out. Weeb. Huh. Even with the power. Even with this powerful gadget, no spare change falls out. What do they make those things out of? Eh, who cares? Okay. Salvage from that. Now, yeah, I can see why a lot of people <clears throat> that are into my sim series consider this the best in the series. I mean, the story is interesting, the characters are, for the most part, well done, the puzzles keep you on your toes, and the area designs are quite nice. I like, I really enjoy this game. I just wish you could return to areas you've been to with the jet. I wish some of the puzzles weren't nearly as cryptic. And I just prefer Sky Heroes as a whole. Not to say this game isn't good, it's fantastic for me, but, oh well. Yep, all the way up there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's talk to Patrick about it. Hey Patrick, I'm gonna get up to that bird's nest. Bird watching, eh? You'd be able to crawl your way up there on the construction site if you manage to turn on the crane. How can I do that? Well, you'll have to do a bunch of things. First, you'll need to find my crane keys. Where are they? I forgot. I'm sure I put them somewhere safe, though. Where would he put huh. them to keep them safe? How about in his safe? Hmm. Well, let's see if he locked them in there, shall we? Pick the lock. Yeah, these puzzles very rarely give me a hard time. Because, like I said, I did these all the time as a kid. And like I said, they don't give me a hard time. I like the forensics. Let's see, did he keep them safe in his safe? Yes, he did. He also keeps his pizza coupon safe, I bet. Huh. Okay, got the keys. Now what? Now you need to power up the crane. Huh. How would I do that? Jerry is in the basement of the building of this. You just need to flip it on. Great, thanks. Okay, huh. so let's have space huh. those boxes and make myself a staircase. I love this thing, and I love how it's used, too. Like it. Oh. Ooh. And in retrospect, I probably should have chosen the shortcut, but. Things were things were looking up, and I don't think they'll fail. Who knows? Hmm. These crates are filled with various industrial yeah. supplies. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's turn hmm. this back on. Hmm, doesn't hmm. look as simple as Patrick made it sound. I'm gonna have to hack through a security protocol. But hacking something I do very well. As soon, ah, as, soon as I say it too. See, easy. 
the... Yeah, these, these hacking puzzles require a good amount of dexterity and concentration. Which makes me thankful my brother nor my cat are barging in to bug me. And we're in. Okay, power's getting to the crane. There's a crate over there, and why not? I've got some time. Okay, maybe I should move the crane back and use the second F energy the energy vent. Let's tr let's try it from here. And jump! Darn. Let's try using all three. Maybe that'll make a little bit more sense. And let's F space this thing open! Whoa! <laughs> and what do we get? A nice bed. A spookier bed. Also, I have to mention something. The new Smash 4 DLC was, just came out, and Ryu? I don't think anyone could have ever had seen that coming, but he is so much fun to play as, and he actually has two different Final Smashes depending on how close your opponent is. I personally prefer the triple show you can, but that's me. Okay, power up the crane. What now? You'll need to fix the control panel. I got struck by lightning, sport. Where's the panel? Up that ladder? There is, Sport. You probably need to fix it by salvaging a bunch of vehicle parts. Good to know. Thanks, Sport. Eh, yeah, I'm the Sport. You're the Sport. Sport. <laughs> yeah, I've always liked Patrick. And going up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and we're here. Do I have enough? Uh, I'm short one. Is there a vehicle I can salvage from in here? I think there is. I mean, this is a construction set, after all. Uh, yep, right there. So let's get that one vehicle part. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. So I'm just saying this. If Ryu can make it in, I want to see Zale in. I mean, Zale, he, I can imagine so much potential for a moveset from the guy. Well, that's for another... But I've already done a rant about that, so I don't need to rant about that again. And like I said, connecting the wires is a good place. It's always a good place to start. Okay, power's on there. Long gear belt there. Okay, not quite. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's put the large gear here. Long gear rail goes there. Small gear goes there. Nope. Um, maybe a small gear goes here. Long gear belt goes there. Large gear goes there, and the long gear belt goes there. Maybe. Not quite. Um. Oh wait, I think I got something. Or maybe not. Don't worry, I'll get this. Hmm. Long gear belt maybe goes here. Small gear goes there. Almost got it. Um, let's see. Small gear... Maybe I should figure out where the large long gear belt can go first. Maybe if I put it here, put the large gear there. Nope, that's not going to work. <coughs> it almost does. Let's put the large gear here. No, okay. Okay... Maybe if I put that, <clears throat> put that here, put this there. I've almost got this. Well, it almost means nothing. I can figure this out though. Uh, hmm. Maybe if I put this. Here. 
here, put that there. Uh, ooh, that's gonna work! And we're done! Okay, with that all done, we now have a path to the nest. And, okay. Let's go back down the ladder. Anyway. <clears throat> um, yeah, I picked up Ryu, but I have not picked up Roy or Lucas yet. But I'm sure it'll be fun to play as. I mean, I enjoy playing as Lucas in, in Brawl a little bit more than Ness, but that's just personal preference. I need a box somewhere else. Right there. Two of them. Oh. Mission accomplished! Yes! So, after I'm done here, I'll head back there and take care of the debriefings. Okay, gotta be careful. Very careful. You know, I question what building are they constructing here, because I honestly have no sort of clue. And who knows, might be something useful, maybe some kind of store, some kind of apartment building. I really don't know, and be careful with the wind. I'm Arrow Dragon, I will not be beaten by the wind. <clears throat> and... made it! Okay, that's the last of them. And it still says question mark on there, even though we found everything. Who cares? Let's go back to Bobby. Uh-huh. Yeah, considering I had to edit out quite a bit of that annoying forensics puzzle, I still got time to meet up with Poppy and head back to HQ and get the debriefings. So, I'm not ending off the episode quite yet. Be careful, be very careful. Made it, thank God. Yeah, I don't understand why we can't just jump down, but eh, who cares? Nope, wind, you will not beat me today. Or ever. Okay. Careful, careful. Yes! And we're done here. So let's go regroup with Poppy. Okay, Poppy's over in the park where she always is, and there she is. Hmm. Case closed, Poppy. I recovered all your meal, including that dinner party invitation. Listen, can I use your invitation? I need to look for a special crystal at the will reading. It's important. You aren't? Hmm. At least, at least Violet does care about her sister. Even though in the original my sentence it seemed like she, she always got her, they always got on each other's nerves. But that's that's what you can that's what are you gonna do? She did? Interesting. Well I'll keep an eye out her her for ya. Okay, Poppy, now I better get this invitation back to HQ. I am gonna fire up the jet. And it feels great. Okay, new clients. And a new agent outfit. And also look like a new trophy, but I don't know. The game looked like it bugged out for a minute. Oh well. HQ. Yeah, we're actually getting actually more or less halfway through the game. Okay, evening gown and a suit, and scout the top out of a monocle. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so let's get the debriefing. <coughs> okay, Red Eyes was well done. Pinkies was well done. And Gino was well, was well done. Okay, now, some, something important. I'm gonna go over here real quick and let Elmira go. She was only temporary. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here and recruit Pinky and put her down here. Welcome to the team. And yes, we have the same hairstyle. It works great for both of us, though. And she's obsessed with the color blue, despite her name being Pinky. I don't get it either. I'm also gonna hire Renee. <laughs> okay, 
And um, and with that, I'm going to end it off here. So next time on My Sims Agents, we're going to head out to a mansion and head to a dinner party. See you guys next time. Take care.